Have you ever wanted to stream your Nintendo Switch on Twitch? Yeah, me neither. Alright, that was the video. See ya. But, all kidding aside, I was actually curious to find out if I could stream my Switch on Twitch. And I connected the Switch to my gaming monitor and tried to play around with it a little, see if I could make it work. Unfortunately, it didn't. And I was a little sad, I have to admit. But after doing a little bit of research, I found out that a lot of streamers use capture cards in order to stream their Switch. So, I decided to take a look at what a lot of streamers use in order to do this and they are using the Delgado a lot, it seems, or it looks that way, at least. But when I looked at the price of the Delgado, I almost fell off my chair because that's expensive. And you know what? For somebody who just wants to be able to stream but without having to spend that much money, the Delgado was just not the right option for me. So I decided to look for something that was way cheaper. And that's when I found this one. The Ear Kings Video Capture Card. Or not card, but just the video capture in HDMI. And I bought this from a website that I usually buy my products from. And it was, it was pretty cheap. But the question is, does cheap equal good? And that's what we're going to find out today. Okay, I have started up my laptop and I also have OBS in front of me. And of course, the preview right now is black because the switch is off. But the moment we turn it on, the image doesn't just show up in OBS. We need to actually add another source, which is a video capture device. Click OK and then click on OBS video and there you go we have an image we don't have any audio that is another extra step that we have to take in order to make this work but so far looking at the responsiveness it responds really well the image is clear so I'm gonna turn on this game I was playing this anyway so now what we're going to do in order to capture the audio as well, we need to go to our speaker icon, sounds, go to recording. And right now, the microphone that I'm using, as you can see, has a little green bar that goes up and down because that's the one I'm using. But the one that you need is this one. Digital audio interface. Now, when you turn it on, it's actually by default on, of course. I disabled it for the, for the video. Normally, no sound comes out of it. But you can see that this thing does have a green bar. So what you're going to do is you're going to click right on your mouse, click to properties, listen, and then check this. Listen to this device, click apply and OK. And then the audio is hearable on your desktop or your laptop. So in order to capture the sound as well, you will need uh, to have desktop audio. And like I said, you need to have this enabled and listen to this device checked. And then you should be able to record your voice and the audio of the switch. The audio is pretty loud, but thankfully, we can just bring this down if we want. And if we then start recording, plus of course the sounds, I keep closing this. Okay, there we go. It is softer. So let me show you. 
We won't hear a difference in OBS. But... I... So yeah, we have actually managed to make this work and we have full control over the volume when we play with the desktop audio and of course our microphone how much sound that records as well so yeah that's basically it you can immediately start recording and i'm actually really happy with the results i am definitely going to stream my nintendo switch tonight i am very very excited for this I hope that you guys will join me as well. That would be really, really fun. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want this video capture card, I will put the link up in the description. And of course, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. And I will see you in the next video.